Good morning. I have made it to Guanacosta, Costa Rica. I'm close to the town of Del Coco and I'm staying at the Nirmo Hostel. Figured I'd wake up this morning since the weather's good and uh, show you guys where I'm staying. It's a pretty neat spot. It's a container build, which I found pretty interesting. So I'll just show you guys what it looks like. This is my room. He got a bunk bed. This is a container build, so it's got AC, little bathroom, a shower, everything a person can need. Uh, TV, if you're into flying across the world and then sitting in your room and watching TV. Not for me though. Downstairs, I want to show you guys uh, this place has got. So you can see they did these builds out of containers and then they stacked them like three high, which is pretty cool. Sitting area. They really just feng shui the shit out of this place. And I gotta say, I'm digging it. Common space, kitchen. Some outdoor showers. Yeah, they kind of got this place built out. It's badass, I gotta say. Little bar for when it's popping. So I am here in the rainy season, towards the end of the rainy season. So I'm kind of trying to manifest that it'll stop. <laughs> and, uh, that way I can get out and enjoy some stuff. I woke up and there's no rain, so I'm gonna get going, try and go see what this place is all about. Give you guys some beta on the area. I did find out some interesting stuff last night when I was out and about, so um, I'm gonna throw some things in a bag and go hop in the car. And then I will uh, get back with you. All right. Made my first pit stop of the day. Uh, pretty important one. A little travel tip by Christopher. If you are traveling and you need to exchange currency, I recommend doing it at a bank locally in country. That way you're getting the best rates and uh, you're not getting joshed around like they do at the airport. So I have exchanged couple hundred bucks should last me for food for over a week I think I'm gonna do most of my own cooking so uh, we'll see how far this goes the dollar is about six hundred one dollar to like six hundred thirty seven colonies so uh, fair amount of money they switched the currency over here in Costa Rica with the new president so if you are out shopping uh, getting food and you're not in a real touristy area beware that the money you're getting back isn't the old currency because it's no good here anymore the new currencies are all kind of almost like this plastic material so just keep an eye on that if you're traveling here um, and also this area I'm in they told me inside uh, Del Coco town I'm in here that uh, the taxes are higher. So that's part of the reason, yeah, it's touristy, things are gonna be a little more pricey, but another thing is that it's just higher taxes here. So I'll be looking forward to getting out of this area in the next couple days. Let's uh, see what kind of food we can find and uh, take a walk down the beach and we'll call it a video for the day. All right, folks, I made it. On a nice little car park over here. Senior's gonna watch my car. Look at this. You know, I better take my shoes off because that's what you do at the beach. All right. So 
so there was a guy telling me that uh, it's been raining for like 15 days straight. So thinking of uh, my manifestation and bringing the uh, weather with me, maybe work. Gorgeous. I'm gonna walk over to this point out here see if I can get some cool footage with the drone. Stoked to have some sunshine. Not many people out here. Huh? There's a little lady doing massage over there. Oh, those rocks hurt. Gotta be careful. Look at that. My poor little feet. Walking around here by the tide pools. A big old lizard. Not the common iguana that we're used to seeing south of the border, but pretty cool. I'm just rushing along here, hoping I don't get caught by the tide. One thing you want to Make sure you're not doing when you're walking out to a point like that on something that looks a hell of a lot like an island is keep an eye on the tide. I got myself into some trouble in Morocco not watching the tide and I don't really know this area enough to say I'm familiar with what's going on but it's coming in on me more than it was when I went out so Better not to have to make a swim with a few thousand dollars worth of camera equipment. Can't afford to replace that. So, making my way back around these tide pools to safety. And I'm going to see if I can find something to eat before I go snorkeling and take a Christopher Dibs. Shout out to Kurt. Kaz YouTube channel. If you haven't seen it, check it out. He's the man. All right. Let's see if we can find something to eat. I'm starving. Turns out I found some food here by the beach. Some ceviche. Perfecto. Good change. It's good, fresh. From today? From today? Perfect. Gracias. Alright, find a spot to sit down. Some ceviche. As you can see, my Spanish is still a bit rusty from decade of not visiting any Spanish-speaking countries, but luckily they're friendly people and they don't tend to mind, especially when you're handing them money. All right, let's see here. Got a little spot. See what see what this ceviche is all about. Well, there's some squid in there. Nice. 
Mm-hmm. What is it? Happy Christopher. And he takes it out of you, but I'd like a little fresh fish and lemon. Lime. Exactly the guy I was looking for. You guys want to see what it looks like, don't you? Lots of onions. Man, I was hungry. I walked up to that edge of the point out there. And, um, saw a lot of sea urchins in the tide pools. But most likely are common for here, but I don't really see them too often, so. Typical crisper wants to eat them. Oh, look right here. Coconuts on the beach? What? Too bad someone drank this one already. Check ya. I'm thinking I'm gonna eat this and grab my snorkel gear and go jump in because that's what you're supposed to do when you're in Costa Rica at the beach. Oh god, Huffman. Like, I don't know, like eight bucks or something, nine bucks. It's not cheap here in Costa Rica, despite what you've heard. <laughs> but the town next to me, Del Coco, is uh, pretty touristy and real close to the airport, so obviously it's gonna have higher prices. Well, I know I mentioned earlier in the video that a lot of that's contributed to like the taxes the government and the new president have put in these areas. So as I head further south into the country, I should find better pricing. Um, skin tone comes down to a lot of it. I'm clearly a white guy. I don't live here. Even most expats, they're not hanging out in these touristy areas and checking things out with googly eyes like me and so they spot me from down the street which is fine I'm here enjoying their country it's beautiful and uh, I get it people gotta make money so can't blame people you just gotta move yourself to where you can afford if that be the case I'm watching this family over there. And their kids are playing in the tide pools that are low. Super warm. From the sun. It's like a hot tub. I don't know why you want to be a hot tub though. It's fucking hot out here. Anyway. I'm trying to keep these videos a lot shorter and not bore you guys to death like I have in the past. So. I'm going to find off finish this up either make my way out that way around the bend is like a little bay that the waves are pretty easy in but uh i might start out here and go around or head off in that direction and kind of in between there uh looked pretty good for some sea life watching so that's my plan Keep you guys posted if anything cool happens otherwise i'll probably uh 
sign off here for the video today. Thanks for watching.